Hi everyone, Anna Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we are making a really special but easy star mini album. So like always you have a link to the measurements in the description under the video. You can go ahead and click on that and download the instructions and all the measurements to make this really cool mini album. So I'm going to start with our black card stocks. We have six pieces of those and we're going to score them at six inches. We're going to do that on all the pieces that we have of the black cardstock. You can use whatever solid color cardstock that you have in your stash. I used black but it's up to you what color you want to use. We need two contrasting colors so I'm going to use white for the other cardstock pieces but again you can use whatever colors that you want okay so we have scored all the black pieces at six inches and for the white pieces again we're going to have six of those we're going to score them each piece at three and seven eighths five and seven eighths and seven and seven eighths if you don't have a trimmer or a scoreboard with a bone folder like I do, simply use a ruler. A metal ruler is the best and a stylus or a back of a knife or a pen that doesn't work. Something sharp enough to create a score line on your cardstock. Some people even take the ruler and just align it with the measurement and then fold the paper on it. That is less accurate and I think it's not as recommended but if it, that's the only option that you have then just go ahead and do that. So now we're going to fold all our pieces. For the white pieces we're going to fold them in a W shape. That means that the two score lines on the side fold towards the inside and the middle fold line folds toward the outside. So you should get a W shape for all the white pieces. And for the black pieces we're simply going to fold them in the center. So you might have seen star mini albums before and usually it's a really elaborate technique that requires a lot of paper so I think it's a little more wasteful than my version so I came up with a I think a prettier version which is also more frugal and less wasteful so you need less papers and I think the result is better don't forget you have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from the link in the description under the video. So go ahead and fold all your black pieces in half and always burnish all your folds with your bone folder or your fingers. And next we're going to assemble, start assembling the mini album. So what we're going to do is flip the white piece and apply glue to two of the squares, one on the right side and one on the left side. I'm using liquid glue. You already know that's my favorite glue because it allows me to align and move the papers into position. So we're going to align both sides with the black cardstock and as you can see, the white cardstock still remains a little bit folded while aligned with the edges. Always leave that little margin around the white cardstock. So don't align it all the way to the edge. I'm going to show you another one. So when you attach that to the black cardstock, the both pieces still remain a little bit folded. You can't flatten them completely. 
that is part of the structure of the mini album. So you align one side and then you bring the other side to it and leave that while it's still folded a little bit. Leave that to dry. And we're going to repeat that with all the pieces align them together. So now we're going to close all the pieces. We have six pieces all together and then we're going to attach them one to the other. So what we're going to do is keep one piece folded, apply glue, and then attach the next piece back to back. And we're going to repeat that with all the pieces. So you need to align them together while you attach them. And once it's glued, see this is how the first pair looks. So once it's glued, you simply keep on going. You apply glue to the back of the square and then you attach the next page. Again, don't forget to align all the edges together. You want it to be straight, of course. So now you can start imagining how the final mini album is going to look. So I'm applying glue and going to attach the, the next piece. So you're going to go one piece at a time, aligning and making sure that it's straight, and then go ahead and attach the next piece until you're done with all the pieces. So we're almost done. This is Now we're going to attach the last piece. I'm going to show you how it looks. It's going to have a really cool look. And I think it was really easy to make. Okay. Everything is glued together. And look at that. Now that when you open it, There's the star. Isn't that cool? I really like how that turned out. So now let's work on closing the mini album. What I'm going to use are two magnets. So I'm using magnets that already have adhesive backing. So that's really easy. If you don't, you simply use magnets and then attach them with a little bit of glue. And it needs to be strong glue because it needs to hold the magnets to the paper. So I'm going to attach, and there are two pairs, I mean there are two magnets of each pair, a minus and a plus. So I'm going to remove the sticky backing and then attach the first magnet. And do the exact same thing with the second one. So this is the first part of the pair. And you need two magnets to ensure that the closure of the mini album is symmetrical and strong enough. So now I'm going to bring the plus side of our pair. And I'm simply going to remove the backing and let them stick together, magnetize together. Sometimes removing the backing is a real pain in the you-know-what. So once I have the backing removed, I'm simply going to close the other side of the mini album and that will ensure that both my magnets are in the exact same place because the magnets are going to stick to the other side of the mini album. Remember, they have an adhesive backing. If they don't, you need at this point to apply glue. So you see, this is how I did it. Really easy and very accurate. Next, I'm going to apply some glue and attach two ribbons. 
one on each side of the mini album. Again, a little bit of glue and just attach the edge of the ribbon. I like to match the color of my ribbon to the colors of my pages, of my cover papers. And then I'm going to cover the front and the back and hide the magnets and the ribbon on each side. And again, you have all the measurements for the cover papers as well in the description under the video. You can go ahead and click the link and then download all the measurements and the written instructions for this great mini album. Let's do the exact same thing on the other side. A little bit of glue and again the liquid glue allows you to wiggle the paper and move it to position and aligning it with the, the edges. That's why I like to use it but it's up to you if you want to use double-sided tape or something like that. So for the inside of the mini album you have two sizes of cover papers. You can actually leave it like this with white papers and add photos if you want but I'm going to cover it with papers. You can make combinations. You can add photos on one side and maybe cover papers on the other side or just keep the cover papers to the center and then add photos. It's up to you how you want this part to look. I'm going to cover everything with cover paper so you're just going to see how that looks. And of course I pick contrasting colors so it will look prettier. Again it's up to you if you want all the papers to be in the same color for each page. I'm going to speed things up a little bit just to show you I'm using, if in case you're wondering, I'm using Graphic 45 pattern papers. They're actually double-sided pattern cardstocks. Aligning them with the edges and then you see that you still have that little white frame around each of the papers so that looks really pretty. And basically you keep going to cover all the papers and this is how the final mini album looks. I really like how it turned out. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you can keep up with all my projects and of course make them because they're usually very easy to make and fun and of course fun to give to somebody or use for yourself. So I really like this project. I really hope that you liked it too. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.